job with off-grid homesteading. So, having to switch gears again uh, today. Um, I got my uh, axle in for the drive shaft here in the front of the Montero. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that removed and put on today. That'll save me estimated price range of $350 to $1,100 depending on where you get it done. And that's just one of the ways you can save money on the homestead. So I didn't see any videos on how a uh, 2003 Mitsubishi Montero front drive axle can be replaced. So I figured I'd go ahead and make one. So there's not a whole lot of repairs for the uh, Mitsubishi Montero out there. They do have the Mitsubishi Pajero, which is uh, very similar to the Montero. It's pretty, pretty much the same car, just manufactured uh, for a different country. So let's go ahead and get started on this and see how much we can get done. Uh, I'm going to actually measure this to see if it will um, actually fit and be the right size for it. I might be able to use this one, but if it doesn't work. The other issue I have is, is down here, um, I have a, uh, on the rack and pinion, there's, uh, there's rubber boots that are right at the end of the rack and pinion that go over the uh, tie rod that actually steers the car left and right, in and out. Anyway, this one's um, broken or torn. The uh, challenge is nobody sells the boots. There's no boot kit for it. You can get this uh, rack boot out of like Australia. It's like 30 bucks for the boot, and $35 for shipping, which is, uh, it's a great solution without having to spend 400 bucks for a rack or 500 or 600 bucks plus installation, which is probably $1,500, $1,000 to $1,500 on installation most likely. So um, I was uh, trying to figure out how to MacGyver this and the easiest way to do it uh, that I can think of is uh, get an inner tube from a tire, uh, take the inner tube, take it all the way down uh, over the boot, and then tie it onto the boot in between, throw some more grease in there, and that'll keep the dust out. So uh, that's one of my, that's my solution for today. So I'm gonna go uh, see if I can um, find an inner tube in uh, an old tire, and uh, see if I can use that. Okay, we're aware. And I find a boot. Where did I have a boot? How about this little guy here? So I just got to take this off and grab the uh, inner tube out of there and I should be able to make a boot repair kit out of it. Okay, so here's my kind of solution here. I'm gonna take it, slide it over this shaft, 
go ahead and get it over this on both sides and then zip tie it to one of these ribs on either side of it. So hopefully that should uh, cause no dust from getting into this joint anymore. So let's see how that works. Okay, so here's basically my fix for the CV boot. This is the uh, other end of it right here. And uh, I'm gonna put a rubber strap, I mean a strap right around here, a strap right around there, um, back over here. Uh, can you see it? Over here. There's a uh, uh, two little uh, spots that come out so that it won't pull back off. I'm going to re-grease this. As a matter of fact, when I greased it the first time, there was a lot of dirt in here, so I actually pulled a lot of the dirt off. And um, this should uh, keep me going for for quite some time. Anywho, because all this is doing is just, it's just moving in and out, in and out like this, and this is rubber and that's rubber, so that should be fine. So, let's go back to it. Okay, here's the CV boot fix using a inner tube of a tire. I have it. So I've got the inner piece tied right there, right there. One band going right here. See the other tie right, uh, right there. I went ahead and did a second band just so that it gives a little bit more grip on this side. So at some point I will probably have to find a new um, boot to go over the whole thing, but for right now that'll keep the dirt and dust out and hopefully let it last another you know couple years or more. So uh, save me, you know, fifty dollars for a boot kit, or um, which I had to get from Australia, waiting how no, God knows how long. Uh, I'd be waiting to get this thing done, and then at the same time, uh, there is no other boot kit out there uh, from Montero for this. And uh, uh, so, so anyway, um, just uh, got that put on. About, took about an hour to figure out where I was going to get it from and then I put it on and get it going. Uh, hint, grease it at the very end, not before you put it on. I had to take all the grease off and take all the dirt off because it got dirty as I was taking the other boot off. And uh, so uh, do that in the other order and that should, be, should work okay. And outside of that, we're good to go for a while. Bye. Here's a little section of the boot that uh, was tearing in a couple of different places, so I said, what the heck, you know, right there. And uh, I said, let's just go ahead and go ahead and just remove this whole section and extend it over. And uh, so anyway, I'm done with that. 